to be honest with ourselves, time to be real with ourselves, time to evaluate ourselves and have the hard conversation. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. But before that, I want you to know this. I want you to share this. I wanna see comments on the screen and I wanna get back to you with these weekly videos that I've been doing. Um, I'm really excited with them because it's, I've been able to interact with everyone very different. If you all know, I'm not gonna be living my life on Instagram all the time and doing all that stuff, you know, because we got five children and I got a beautiful wife and I have a church and I have my parents, I have a whole bunch of stuff going on. But when it comes to these weeklies, I'm getting in there. If you have a comment or maybe you need prayer or whatever it is, let me know in the comments, you know, let me know in the comments, you know, because I'm gonna be checking those comments and I'm gonna be getting back to you and, writing those comments out, okay? We need to start looking at what isn't working in our life. We've already gone through enough of this year to understand what's working and what's not working. But doing that, sometimes the hard part is that we have to really just look at ourselves and reflect on ourselves and the decisions that we've been making and how we've been making the decisions. Lamentations chapter three, verse 40 says it like this. Instead, let us test and examine our ways. Let us turn back to the Lord. There are so many of us that we have lost track of where the Lord is because of the situations that are going on in our life. We need to be able to test to see what outcomes we're having with what we're doing. We need to be able to examine our ways, to examine if what I'm doing is working. If, if, if my marriage isn't working, I need to be able to examine I'm not saying test it because people can take that in a different way and be like, well, I'm going to test another woman to see if that I'll rebuke the devil. We ain't going to be having none of that. Okay. None of that on the weekly impact and in your house, you need to examine what you're doing and what you can change to make things better. I'm working on getting more healthy. We've been, fa we were fasting as a church in January, you know, and, and, and the, the truth is I'll lose weight and I'll be able to make it work if I make the decision to do it. Sometimes things are working, sometimes things are not working. Maybe the things that you're eating are not working for you and you gotta change those things. Maybe the people that you're surrounded with, it's not working and you need to maybe change some of your surroundings. I can tell a lot about someone when I see the friendships that they have around them. Something doesn't, some things don't work but it doesn't mean that we have to give up. Sometimes we need to evaluate. In your marriage, sometimes people, well, it's not working, I'm done. No, sometimes you just need to start evaluating. You know, if you want to get better, we just have to be honest. If you want your marriage to get better, you just need to be honest. If you want your relationships to get better, you, you just need to be honest with yourself and just, you know, am I at the right job? Am I at the right place in my life? Is my mind in the right place? It, maybe, maybe you've been thinking your marriage is not working because of your wife or your husband, and the reality is maybe it's you. And a lot of times that's our story. Why didn't that relationship work? Why didn't that job work? Why didn't they give me the promotion? Why didn't I get that? Why am I not president? Uh, we've heard that one. You know, why didn't it work? Why, why did the weight loss not work? Why did the friendships not work? Sometimes people are gonna be mean. Sometimes people will even try to put vinegar in your drink. What am I trying to say that? Sometimes people will try to sabotage you. In our relationships, jobs, in friendships and all of that, we're gonna learn a lot. So as I continue looking at everything and examining everything, I have to just continue being real with myself. If I wanna get better, I have to be honest with myself. Why didn't that relationship work? Maybe I messed it up. Maybe I was unfaithful. Maybe you were unfaithful. Uh, may maybe they were just not the right person. You know, why didn't the job work out? Maybe that job was not for you. Well, why didn't I get the raise? We can, we can go like in a tangent, just saying, why didn't something work? If certain friendships are toxic, if certain friendships are just bringing destruction into your life, then we need to really just be honest with ourselves. Do I really need to have that person in my life? Do I really need to have that vinegar in my drink? Yes, I'm calling those toxic friends vinegar. Vinegar is good to clean things, but vinegar is not good to drink. It doesn't taste good at all. And everybody's gonna know that you have something funky in your breath. But other times, our bad decisions are leading us to repeated pain. What do I mean with that? Sometimes we may look at that people are trying to put vinegar in our drink, but sometimes the decisions that we've made broke that relationship, broke that marriage, brought unnecessary pain into our life. And sometimes we repeated the pain in our life because we got accustomed to it. You know how many people in the world, they get accustomed to bad behavior, they get accustomed to abusive relationships. And 
since I said it, look, any woman that's being abused, you know what? Do something about it. Do something about it. Get help. Get help because no woman and no man should ever be abused. But I know that there's a lot of women that get abused. But you know what the sad thing is? Sometimes certain women and even certain men, they get used to the abuse and they just settle for it. Get help, talk to someone. Stop trying to keep everything so bottled up. I don't know if that's for someone, but if you're going through that, get some help. Find someone to help you, but you have to be honest with yourself. It's okay to start processing in your life, but when you start processing in your life, you have to ask the right questions. Is this person trying to kill me or is this person trying to lift me up? Are they trying to help me or are they trying to destroy me? But you have to ask yourself the right questions. The right questions will lead you to the right answers. The same way that when you go to a doctor, the right diagnosis will lead you to the right prescription, okay? But the only way to fix things is by asking the right questions. And sometimes asking the right questions means that you're gonna have to face demons in your life. Sometimes asking the right questions, once you're standing in front of that mirror and you're looking at yourself and you're like, it's gonna make you have to face certain things that you didn't wanna face. And I think sometimes that's the scary part for people. They don't want to face the truth. I don't always want to hear the truth, but sometimes I just have to deal with the truth. Bruce Lee said it, and he's one of the warriors that I look up to when it comes to, he was just amazing. Bruce Lee was just amazing. And he said, the successful warrior is the average man, woman, with laser-like focus. If you're being real with yourself and you're trying to change things in your life, the year is already on. <laughs> we're already seeing the good, the bad, and the ugly. Like I said, a couple of, we're, we're seeing it all. But like Bruce Lee said, we have to have laser focus to be able to move forward. We need to ask ourselves, what do I need to start? What do I need to stop? And what do I need to sustain? I leave you with this. What do I need to rethink to have a better tomorrow? What do I need to change to have a better tomorrow? But it all starts with how you're thinking. Change your thinking and your tomorrow will change. Look, family, I love you. I pray the blessing of God upon your life. You are more than an overcomer. Be honest with yourself. Go to the root of the problem and start making the changes that you need to make. And I'll assure you, if you start being honest with yourself and you start moving in the right direction, you're gonna start seeing things change in your life. I love you. Share this, comment. I wanna know more on how this is being a blessing in your life. I love you.